What's up everyone? I was gone for a week or two on a much needed vacation and returned to find some very interesting things here, including uh, Megatron. A transforming Megatron Sega Genesis with a little Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Wow. And I'm still working on putting together a new set. I feel like this is going to have to be on it in the same way that Robocop was on the old set. And Robocop will be on the new set too, but I think you'll be joined by Sega Genesis Megatron. So thank you, Derek Langley, for that. Uh, over here we've got a boxed copy of Activision Decathlon Space Shuttle. I already showed you this one, Doom. Thanks to Kelvin once again for hooking the show up with many PlayStation products. These are from Eric in California. Track and field for the Atari 2600. This is great. A boxed Atari 2600 joystick. Genuine Atari replacement parts. Hope this is still covered under warranty. We got uh, some Tron games for the Atari, and check this out. We have Omega Race for the Atari 2600 with RAM Plus. I have never seen this in my life. I'm I am looking forward to playing that. And also trying out these guys, check this out. We have uh, stick stands. Need cleaning, but I think you can see that. I'm assuming these are for Atari 2600 controllers. Stick stands. We've got the uh, track and field controller here for the Atari 2600. And suction cups still work. I don't know if you heard that. The Tron controller. which I'm hoping is for the Atari 2600 versions of the game. Thank you again, Eric. Oh yeah, and then there's this thing from John in Dublin. I'm going to slowly move it in here like Spaceball 1. Oh, oh, that gives it away. The ZX Spectrum. And he sent some games too, let's go grab them. Rad Ramp Racer. This better be rad. Backgammon. Live Ammo. The Great Escape. Uh, Flight Simulation. From Scion. Checkered Flag. Checkward flag for the ZX Spectrum. Hits oh Enduro Enduro Racer and oh wow Top Gun and Rambo and Green Beret. But top, does this game combine Top Gun and Rambo? That would be the most '80s thing ever. All the way from Scotland, Scott. From Aberdeen sent some Brewdog beer. And he also sent Oasis on vinyl, so thank you very much, Scott. Nate from California sent some Star Wars goodies. Love the original TIE Fighters. Obviously a huge fan of that. And this thing, Shamar from Canada sent Burnout Point of Burnout 2 Point of Impact. Rally Sport challenge for the Xbox. I love driving games, so I'm uh, very excited to play these. And he sent Forza too. Forza's a great game. I don't have the uh, name for this one. Not sure who sent this, but thank you. Pure Solar for the Dreamcast. This game was terrific on the Sega Genesis, so I can only imagine the Dreamcast version is possibly better. I don't know. I love the Genesis and the Dreamcast. Eric from Arizona sent some great NES games here. Actually, I'm sorry. That one's for the NES. This one's for the Atari. Title Match Pro Wrestling. 
for the Atari 2600. This artwork is actually quite grim if you look at it closely. I've never heard of this game. I have to check my notes, but I believe this one came from Natalie. Retro City Rampage. Wow. Yes. Yes. Was this made for me? It might have been. This is just a small sampling of what's arrived over the past couple weeks, but uh, Brandon in Pittsburgh also sent a boxed copy of Shaq Fu, along with a light-up Sega sign that you'll be seeing on the new set, and some other stuff in here. So, thank you, Brandon. I love seeing the artwork that you all come up with, and these are from Laura in Newburgh, New York. I'll be hanging these around the new set when they're uh, when it's finally complete. Love that one. Love me some Pac-Man, and of course, who doesn't enjoy a trip to the R-Zone? That's a pretty good depiction of Jesus right there. That That's about right. And I think you got my hair right, too. That's why I always wear a hat. Except when I'm in the R-Zone. I've also got some Shadow of the Hedgehog here, sent by Joshua and Nicole of Sonoma, California, and Resident Evil Zero, and a couple other games. Tim from Louisville, Illinois, sent some Star Trek laser discs, and of course, the Star Wars Millennium Falcon from Hot Wheels. Not the real thing. I'd love the real thing. Oh, good. Now I can have something fight my TIE fighter. All right. Well, this, uh, like I said, this is just a small sampling of what I've got coming up on Classic Game Room. So, all kinds of good stuff soon. Thanks for watching. See ya. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From... New Jersey! Michael Fernandez! People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia! Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria! Austria. Cue the thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh, hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale. Fighter of Space Bees. Woo. Rick DeBarros. Gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana. Nelson. Nelson. Fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout, Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will. Will. Will.